What happened? He was in the explosion. He was in the lobby and then fucking the, the third explosion, the whole lobby collapsed on us. What was it like? What was it like? Horrible. It's like Horrible. hell. You don't the want to know. The whole building just collapsed on us inside the lobby. Is that a secondary explosion? Yes, it was. That was it the was planet Yeah, definitely a secondary explosion. But we was inside waiting to go upstairs. And on our way upstairs, the whole fucking thing blew. And we just, we just collapsed from everybody inside the lobby. Similar to the first car coming down, secondary? I don't know about the first one, but I know the second one, was, it was terrible. Then there was a third one, too, after that one. Third yeah. explosion after that? Yes, sir. I think a bomb went off the lobby first, then a plane hit the building. But then another plane hit the other building. And, but when I was coming through the doors on the other side of the Trade Center, something, either they blew the lobby up or, or something, because it blew the glass out of the doors and knocked us all down, and I got a smoke. Sit at my desk, we heard a loud boom, and then we said, what was that? And I ran out to the window, and I look out, and I see smoke. The next thing I saw, I mean, you got to look at it. The, the bottom elevator, the glass just flamed, exploded out the front of the uh, World Trade Center. Glass flew everywhere. The ladies that are with me were in the World Trade Center on the on, in the first building and escaped through the lobby where they report they believe there was a bomb in the lobby. We ran down the steps to the lobby. There was no lobby. Everything was wow. torn up. And even the turnstile was burnt and was sticking up. And they just told us to run. My boss ran out of the office. He said one thing, run. Everybody just ran. And we ran down the stairs. They told us to come back up the stairs. And we were like, come back up the stairs. Are you crazy? So we continued down the stairs. We came outside in the lobby. There was no lobby. The lobby was totally gone. We want to go back to Marcia Kramer, who's in the newsroom, for a further update. Marcia? Well, we have a number of updates. Number one, um, CNN is now reporting that there was a third explosion at the World Trade Center, probably an explosion from the ground that caused World Trade Center 1 to collapse on top of itself. Again, there was a third explosion. It is unclear what caused it, whether it was a bomb or whether the first plane that crashed into the tower had somehow been booby-trapped with a bomb that was timed to explode later after the crash had occurred. But CNN is reporting that there was a third explosion that caused World Trade Center 1 to collapse within itself and then collapse on other surrounding buildings. The second tower, which in fact was the first one hit, uh, collapsed as well, and that's what you're about to see. Um, our reporters in the area say they heard loud noises when that happened. It is unclear to them and to us whether those were explosions going on in the building or if that was simply the sound of the collapse of the buildings as they collapsed, uh, making these huge noises. She's been here a long time. Arthur Del Bianco is one of the lucky few, able to tell a tale of survival from a hospital bed. She would, all of a sudden, it was like bang, 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 like bullet shots, and then all of a sudden, three tremendous explosions, and everything started coming down. We made it outside, we made it about a block. We made it at least two blocks and we started running. Floor by floor, it started popping out. It was like, it was if, if it had detonated. Yeah, you know, detonated. They were planned yeah. to take down a building. Boom, 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 boom. All the way down. I was watching right. it and running. You have two 110 story office buildings. You don't find a desk, you don't find a chair. You don't find a telephone, a computer. The biggest piece of a telephone I found was half of the keypad, and it was about this big. The building collapsed to dust. 